Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Marto's Arcade. This episode we are going to go through point of view and lighting on different tables. Um, when you get your tables and you download your virtual pin tables, um, some of them just aren't the way you like them or the lighting. So I'm going to show you how to go through and, and I just want to show you things to look for. Um, so little things to look for, so if you go too high, the screw comes out of the thing, or um, the light's mounted on the top, um, you'll just, there's lots of little things to look for to actually make the table spot on. Um, the, the apron, sometimes the apron on the front doesn't show the whole thing. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you all these little things that I've gone through and learnt, and um, I hope you'll like that. Oh, one more thing too, um, thank you for Nick Doran for um, sharing my stuff on VP Nation on Facebook. Get on Facebook, um, there's the link down below as well. Um, VP Nation, um, get on that and you'll learn stuff on there too. Um, a lot of guys know what they're doing on that page on Facebook, so VP Nation, have a, have a look at that, so, um, join that page. All right, let's get into uh, the point of view and the lighting on this on these tables. I'll show you most tables look pretty good, and then I'll show you one that's not set up properly, and we'll go and change that. What I was going to say is, things I like to look for is um, not having the flippers dead flat looking straight on, because you're not looking at it dead flat straight on. So I like to have like a f bit of 5mm of the white and a 5mm underneath as well. And that sort of makes the table go, you know, that way. Um, if you look at this apron, it's actually quite good. You see the instructions. You can see the whole apron. Another thing to watch out for is this type of thing here. Um, sometimes they go right over. So watch out for those. Uh, I'm just showing you a few little key points before we actually get a table and change a table. So I'm just going to go find a table. Uh, another little thing too to look for is when you've got the post and you look for your little rubbers around them Sometimes the rubbers can go inside the post. That's another little thing and the nut if you go too high the nut can go higher or lower So there's a lot of little things we got to look for So I'm just going to find a table that I reckon's really crap and it needs setting up um, I did look for um, Double up which is a really old table. Um, I get really easy to distracted too. When you see a nice table, you just want to play it. Um, Dracula. Where is double up? There it is there. So this is double up. All right, table looks way too big or too zoomed up for the table itself. You'll look at um, the instruction cards half cut off. Um, the ball, the ball is supposed to come around in behind it. It's cut, you don't see the ball come in behind here. And the flippers, another thing with the flippers, it's dead straight on. So I don't like that. I, we need to shrink the table. Um, what else do we need to do? I need to see the ball here. The ball here is not, I can't see the ball. So we're gonna shrink this down and you can see the perspective of the um, where you shoot the ball it goes down and it goes towards the, towards the center. So I'm sort of happy with the length of that, but not the front here. So let's change this one. So what we do is we get we get our trusty keyboard, we turn it on. Okay, I've got a Wi-Fi dongle thing in my computer. So what you do is you press Escape. And that will go to the menu up here. And I'm going to go up to my table menu, which is um, visual pinboard menu. So we're going to click on that. I'm going to find double up. So you've got me menu, double up, sorry you might not be able to read it but double up is right there, double up. So we're going to click on that twice, 
and the table will come up. You'll see what it happens. Right, so the table is as it is when it's loaded. So what we do is, uh, we could press credit and that and play it, but we're not going to. So we're going to press Q twice. Right. I'm going to move you around a bit, I'm sorry. Right, so I've got my cursor. Okay, we've got my cursor. We're going to go over to table. I don't know if you can see my cursor there or not. We're going to go to table. Click on, click on that with me table. Table, and we want to go to camera, light, material, edit mode. And we're going to click on that. And that will come up to that. Right I'll move you back here again. Oh, sorry, this is not easy. So we're going to concentrate on the front here mainly. So we'll just keep it here for a for now. Right, you can see the apron, it looks really shit. So what we do is the first one, we don't touch nothing, right? We use the key to go through all the different, um, control key to go through the different functions. So we've done nothing, but we'll just do, I just use left and right flippers for now. So we go, that makes it go up that way like that. And left goes makes it like that. So I do not want to go that way. I want to go that way. It's sort of roughy. Then we're going to press, the next one is, uh, we press control, and the next one is lighting. So lighting, right is up, and left is down, if you can see that. So I'm pretty happy, pretty, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the lighting. Now the things to watch out for is, see how there's a light and the shadow? If I go really bright, you can see that. If I go really dark, you can see it more pronounced more darker there so look out for the lighting what else do we look out for lighting um, on other tables too you look for the little light up things that light up um, but this is such an old table this one so I'm just gonna adjust this to my liking go right up and then back it off a bit I'm pretty happy with that one so that's the lighting um, you go another two times because that one does nothing that one does nothing and then we go next one sorry another one and that zooms it up so we use the left and right flippers to go in or out I'm actually using my left and right flippers to go in and out now, don't worry about, um, see there's a grey section here, and there's a grey section, there's a grey section up there as well. So don't worry about that, as long as I try and get it in the middle. So you can go right in or out like that. It's going to be a bit hard because the table goes like that. So it's smaller there than wider here, but you want to look at this. So I'd probably go right to the side where that metal bracket is. Um, where that metal bracket will bring it right to the side there. Bear in mind, keep that and that that way. So there is, see we've gone right up to, I want to go right to, I want to go there, but now it's too much there. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go a little bit wider. Oh, sorry, that way. Then we'll do the next control, and what will that do? That'll make it go left and right. You might have to do this a few times, so left and right's like this. But the, the next few ones we're going to make it go, we're going to shrink it and lengthen it. So they're coming up, which we haven't used yet. So we can go full on that way and full on that way. 
So I reckon I'm going to stick it about. Try and look at the back as well. Try and keep the back even as well. So I'm going to press control again. Now that's making us go, it's bringing the whole table back this way. So we sort of want to make that even. We're bringing it even. I always look past my lockdown bar and just see how far it is. Then we press control again. And that will make it go up and down. Now this is what I was saying about the nuts and the bolts. If I, if you keep an eye on the um, eye of, on eye on that nut there, or the screw, or the post, I'm doing the left flipper. See it disappears. Watch out for stuff like that. And there's also a, a little screw here too. So we're going to go back on the right flipper and bring them up. See that 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 come up because there's layers in the table. So we don't want to go too high with that either. You start looking at this sort of thing. You don't want to look. At, you don't want that to go like that. So we're going to go back to the left flipper and bring it down. I'll bring it just under because that's not supposed to be there. So roughly that's where that's supposed to be. So you, you see these here, you see the screw, that looks really spot on, but you can see these white bits here, and they're not supposed to be there. They're just little rests under it. So you just go back on the left a little bit and dis make them disappear. Right, so we've done the height thing. So we're going to press Control, and then that's going to make it shrink. So I'm doing the left flipper now. So now I can see my full apron and on that side as well I might just go right a little bit I sort of want I want that to close up a bit and I don't want to see all that rubbish sort of want it about there and I can see my instruction so now I've got the length the, the length is um, terrible so I want to bring it back I think the next one's length so there's the table there and we press control again and it should be the length I'm hoping there you go it's the length so I can make it really shrink it up or we can go right flipper and we just adjust it to our length so I always look under my I always look at the, um, the plunger and make sure it's the lockdown bars about just right under that writing there there you go, so that's nice. I'm happy with that. And then um, we could go a little bit longer on the backboard, but now I can actually see everything. The apron's a lot better than what it was. Um, and we'll go through it again. We'll go through it again now that we've got roughly um, our size. Um, so we'll press each control again. And that's going to make it drop down. Or I'm going to hit the right flipper and bring it up to what I want there. And I'd probably have to say that's that's where I want it. That's actually where I want it. Actually, I don't think that we need to go through go through it again. Now, once you've done this, so we've seen. You see the apron with the instructions. It's all nice to the sides. I do like to see a little bit of white under my flipper. I don't like to see it dead flat on. I might just we'll just go through it again. Press it to control. And there we go. It it brings it like that. That's making it look um, dead on, which I don't like. So I'm gonna hit the right flipper and watch the flippers. And I like to see a little bit of white under there. That's how I like to see it. So when you see that, I'm pretty happy with that. 
that's probably the best wire, best view you can have. So look out for your flippers and your nuts and bolts and your posts on there. Sometimes your rubbers can go inside if you go too far tilting the table. The rubbers will go far. Watch out for your rubbers. So this is just a real basic table. All right, now the next trick is to um, what we do is we go Q because I'm happy with that view. That view is very happy. I'm happy with that. So we're going to hit Q twice. And that will get me back to this menu. And then I'm going to press... I'm going to press table. You see my cursor there? Press table. And then we don't want to save it yet. We want to play the table. So once we know the table is... Um, I'm going to press play and it will load the table. We don't save anything until we've played the table because what we want to make sure is the ball goes in the kick outs and they kick out. We want to make sure all all areas work. Bear in mind, this is a real basic table. Um, that looks way better than what it was. So I'm going to put you on the stand. Um, put my keyboard over here. I'm going to put you on the stand, we'll play this table and then we make sure it works, which I think it will. Um, I don't think it'll have any problem. And then um, once it's, um, once I'm happy with that, we will save it. You don't want to be saving things when they don't work, because you'll be really annoyed. So I am going to get you a bit better than that. I want to get the view of the um, plunger and everything in there so you're not going to see you're going to see a general overview of a play field working um, this is not a video of gameplay so what we're going to do is we're going to credit it up I'm going to turn the sound up a bit right here right we can see our ball we can see our ball that's loaded nicely there Right, let's play this, see how we go. I want to make sure everything works. I can see everything. I can see instruction cards. Um, I can see the score. Obviously, it scores there. All right, let's play. There you go. It's in there. Nice. I can see, what, three quarters of the ball there. I haven't got a nudge feature yet, I'm going to get one of them. So I can see three quarters of the ball, I'm really happy with that. I don't like seeing half the ball. Um, so... That's going to be hard playing one end anyway. Alright, put it back on the stand. I'm going to have a real good go at this now, make sure the kick out to work and that. Make sure we'll just make sure that kick out's working. And then I'm pretty happy with that. We'll save it. Ah. You got five balls anyway. There we go, that worked as well. Okay, looks good. I'm liking that table now. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to get our keyboard. This is just a basic table. Right, we're going to go... Um, we're going to go Q again twice, and it will load back to the back to here again. So simple as anything. What we're going to do is just go back up to. Where's my cursor? Go back up to um, file, and then we just go save. So I went up to there. And then we just go save.
saving it now. So now we save. And then I go back up to the cross up here. Clock, close that. And then I just get back onto my pop-up menu shortcut. All right, now we're going to um, now we're going to go back to that game and make sure it plays, which it will. It will play nicely. So don't forget to turn your keyboard off. Turn it off there, and we'll go through and find um, double up. <laughs> That's a bit loud. BBC, I want to fire it off. CD. There it is, double up there. So we're going to load that. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Right, I'm just going to go turn the lights off and we'll have a quick go. That's much better. All right, let's play. All right, can you see there? Just going to set you up a little bit better, so you can see. All right, let's quickly play this game, and you can see that it's all loaded up nicely compared to before. I just love these old games. We saw me play it earlier, so. Alright, is it the last ball? Last ball. Last ball. I hope you like the VA, guys. There you go. Alright, guys, um, don't forget to check out VP Nation on Facebook. Um, they teach you stuff and you learn a lot. Um, yeah, I hope you like the video. All right, cheers.